So I just wanted to make this real quick to kind of show how I'm going to make uh, Eclipse's teeth move. So over here is the design I have for his teeth. I had to make the base wider because the uh, one that he came with is way too small. So I wanted to make sure I could print it easily, easier. I had to upscale this to what I originally had because I had the Mimics teeth for comparison. Originally these were way too small. But now they have been upscaled by a lot. So I carved out this top piece here. So if I get rid of this one, for example. Uh, whoops, no, no, maybe not that one. Uh, but, uh, how about you? What? Well, it was like that. Basically, I'm going to be doing this. Boop, 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 boop. And, huh, that's interesting. Why is that not working? Oh well, I'll figure that out later. Anyway, this is going to carve out uh, this piece here so it has a slot to fit into. And pretty much it's just going to be a copy and paste for all of the teeth. Now to connect the teeth, I have this little hoop back here. This nice little hoop. It's about 1.4 I think? No, it's 2 millimeters in diameter. Don't know how that happened when I upscaled it by a random number, but oh well. Anyway, once I have you know, all these set up, each one of these copies of a teeth, tooth, whatever, is going to be in its place. And they're all going to be like this. I mean, since I, oh, that tooth has a hoop, there's also this connector here that has a hoop. And I'm going to use some steel metal, some like nice, nice bendable metal that's not too hard to bend, but not also too soft. And pretty much, we're going to have two servos in the back like this, and they're going to work together to to push. And, you know, it'll push the teeth out, pull the teeth back in. And I can, I can also play with it, because I can have the, you know, I can, ha I can make it, like, raise up, or, you know, whatever. I can just have that. Uh, and since his head is so big, this leaves me plenty of room to make parts for his eye movement and all the other stuff. Originally, I was going to use magnets, but direct steel connector is probably the best option for this to actually work. It's like, get your bat. It is kind of wonky. That's only because of Fusion 360 and its pain in the butt joint system. And you know, oh, if you don't do it just like this perfectly, if it's not 100% perfectly aligned, I'll give you an error message and I will not explain further. But yeah, that's basically what we got. Uh. For the mimic, like you can kind of see, his teeth are really thick, and then you look at Eclipse's teeth, and they're really not that thick. Uh, I was thinking about doing the same thing here, but to be honest, I really don't want to have to reprint these bottom two pieces and then completely redesign this internal part because the servo has to sit back here, and that pushes and pulls the jaw open. I want to have something like this. <laughs> in the same space as that, it's kind of not possible. Unless I use cables and springs, and I really don't want to do that. So for now, it's just, you know, if anything, he'll just have closed teeth. I don't see him open in game, so therefore, they don't open to me. Unless Steel Wool can confirm, which they have not, nor do, have they confirmed that the top part of the mouth opens, which would look cool. I am thinking about doing that, where... Basically, they're both going to be on their separate joints, but they're, they're both going to share this pivot point for the servo to attach to. And when the bottom jaw opens, the top part will also open. Just, you know, so they look like, ma ma ma, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's just that. I have also modified the standard eye holder that I use. Originally, I would have it so there's a bottom slot and this thing just sits on it. That was, I never... I knew that wasn't going to be changed eventually, but I said, eh, I'll do it later. So I tried making, like, a cross... Th Uh-oh. <laughs> I tried making a uh, cross connector for it to where... Uh, 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 uh. Come on, you stupid thing. There we go. But they would, they would cross from each other, and that would kind of maybe fix it, but it's like, nah, that's not working. Oh, hang on. That's better. So now what I did is that I made this thinner than this one, mainly because uh, well, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to flex the part. I just flex a little bit. 
it's not too small to where it will break under the stress. It can handle it, but it's also not too thick, or I don't want to worry about putting too much force and then breaking it. Uh, the top parts, that's not really going to change. Uh, I'll probably take this piece and probably use it on Fun Time Freddy and Glamrock Chica, which I am still working on. For all of the heads going forward, they're all going to have their own independent this piece. Because having to go in, like, right here and unscrew it with all these pieces going across and having to, un you know, take off the top portion and all that stuff, that's annoying. I can just, you know, unscrew two screws here and then two screws here and I'm done. <sighs> he looks like an ugly fish, doesn't he? Also, I didn't realize his eyes are different. Here's his right eye and here's his left eye. Look how small and how different they are. Hmm, so bulgy. So yeah, that's just how it is.